United States, Canada, Mexico. Young people have been at the front lines of the change we are seeing around the world, standing up for human rights and human dignity, speaking out against discrimination, and working each and every day for peace. And I really want to thank you for all your strong commitment for peace. I believe we must do more to empower young people and think as a global citizen. It's hard to be peaceful when you don't have food to eat or a shelter over your head. And all the years that I and my teams have spent learning about chimpanzees, our closest living relatives, have proved beyond doubt that there is no sharp line dividing us humans from the rest of the animal kingdom. We're part of the animal kingdom, not separated from it. And think of the millions of animals out there. The habitats are being destroyed. That means their homes are being destroyed. They're being shot and hunted. It certainly isn't peaceful for them. Which is leading to desertification. You know how fresh... My hope today is seeing these young people that are here uh, that you will continue and we can pass the baton on to many of you. Um, the economy doesn't look good for the near future, so if you're not going to make a lot of money, then maybe you can make a better world, you know? So, thank you. We uh, tend to think of wars as uh, these adult games, but young people are not the innocent bystanders. They are the victims in all kinds of ways. They get shot, enlisted, diseases, hunger, thirst. They um, suffer from post-traumatic stress syndrome, disorders. For some of them, the life that they're allowed is like a nightmare, and their day-to-day -day survival appears to have this bleak future.